get to create an engine, the chassis and the actual structure of the car and that all came together and then we had to put on the wheels. The cars went on a, onto a string at the bottom of the car and we used these canisters called CO2 canisters that go in the back of the, our car and they pierce the car and it flies to the end of the track, which is 25 metres. Well, as soon as it got introduced, I'm like, oh, really? Fast cars? I'm not very interested in cars and stuff. But then as we got on, I'm like, oh, this is really fun. We were working towards the finals, where the best teams from the Catholic schools and state schools that participated would compete for the fastest car, the best engineered car, the best visual design on the car, the best research poster, the best team t-shirt design, the best team logo design and the best oral presentation. We had to come up with a team logo and we had to make a big poster with all our t-shirt design and we had to um, write reflections of what we did um, so then we could go and present our final poster. Uh, I've learned about behind the cars. I've learned a lot about how carbon dioxide and how it's pressure. Uh, yeah, I've learned about the science, but I've also learned about like organisation. My son's been part of the fast car project with St. Roberts, and he's come home and said really positive things about design, about art, which he's not particularly keen on, which I've been um, happy about. It's, it's really taught them about teamwork and working together so I think that's been fantastic. My daughter is interested in science and maths but I think this has given them a creative side of things as well which I think she has had the opportunity to use as well so it's, it's given her a nice opportunity to work on both.